Hello from Gardening at Duenza here in Ireland and this video is all about lilies. So I have a bunch of lilies I'm going to plant out in the garden and we're going to do that together and also I'm going to talk about the different types of lilies and how to grow them as I plant them. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so we're here in what I call my long border and we're standing on the portion of it that was made by means of a lasagna bed and you can see that there's plastic on the ground, membrane on the brown, ground which we're going to take off today and we're going to do that because we are going to plant these wonderful lilies in patches here. And the first thing I'm going to do is to take up this membrane which has really served its purpose up until now. It's kept the weeds down and it's given us a nice back of the border that we can plant. In. So I need to take these pegs out and scissors can be a bit helpful here. Just to take it out, super. Right, so I've taken off the plastic strip which is at the very back of this border. We're at the front of the border now and we're going to plant up back there. And these lilies are going to come to about 140 centimetres, 150 centimetres. So can you imagine, so that's going to be like about, oops, about so, so tall. So they're really going to make a statement back there. Now what we need to do is to lay the lilies in position where I'm going to plant them. And the lily I'm planting today is called Black Beauty and it's an oriental type lily. Now there are various types of lilies, orientals are my absolute favourite and these are ones that grow really really tall and they're scented and they come in pastel colours and what's very important is they do well in acidic soil which I have. The other common type of lily that you might come across is the Asiatic. They're much shorter, they're early flowering, so May and June, so they finish up just at the point in time when the Orientals come into flower. And the Asiatics have a variety of very strong colours and also they're less fussy about soil so they can deal with neutral soil. And of course you may have come across Martigan or Easter lilies or tiger lilies and they're also great lilies but the two main groups are the Asiatic and the Oriental. And this is an Oriental hybrid that we're going to put in the ground today. So lilies need a well-drained soil and they need a fertile soil as well and very importantly they need a lot of sunshine at least six hours a day. Now I'm placing the lilies where I'm going to plant them in the border and the minimum is like three times their width apart and I'm placing them in groups of three because in nature groups of three, five and seven uneven numbers are the best to give a natural effect. So that's going to be one group of lilies there. And I've positioned these lilies at intervals along the back of the border. It's important to have a good look at where you're positioning them and make sure that they will look right from the front of the border. And my companion plant for the lilies is this wonderful Galtonia candicans. Now these are also bulbs and they produce a beautiful beautiful white flower. I think it's called um, summer snowdrop is the common name and this is going to look amazing together with the dark pink recurved lilies. So together they'll make a sea of white with pinky black poking up from the white. It's going to be good. Now lilies of course are deciduous bulbs from the northern hemisphere so they do well in our climate but they do need moisture at their roots so you need to 
get them quite deep if the bulb works its way to the top of the soil and is like kind of exposed then they're not going to do so well at all. And of course, always lift up any stones directly onto the roots of your plant. So you need to dig a hole that's about 30 centimeters deep, about a foot deep. And that should be deep enough to keep the lily roots safe. Okay, so I'm gonna put a lily in here. Pointy side up, so we need to put the pointy side up. And now just bury them with nice fertile soil. <laughs> Not too many stones in. Now these lilies may need staking when they come up, but that's something you'll deal with if and when you see the size of them. And as we said, oriental lilies, lovely, lovely and tall. Many of them don't need staking, so let's hope these ones are among those. Okay, that's the first lot of lilies in. And of course, things never turn out exactly as you plan them. And it was easier actually in the end to dig a trench here. So anyway, trench is the easiest thing because then you can see what you're doing in terms of laying the bulbs. If you dig a hole and pull three lilies down, and then you go to dig another hole to put the Galtodia down, you're not quite sure where the lilies are anymore. And that's a disaster. So a trench, if you've got the space to do it, is definitely the way to go. And in my lilies go. One, two, three beautiful lilies. And another three up here. One, two, three Galtonia around them. So of course the trick is to make it not look like they're planted in a straight line in a trench. <laughs> So I finished the job. I've got three Galtonia over and of course the job was bigger than I thought in the originally. Did a bit of rejigging but it's all in the nature of gardening. Just a couple of things about growing lilies. If you do want to cut the lilies and bring them into the house then only remove say about a quarter of the stem. If you take off too much of the stem then they won't come back and the same with deadheading. So you need to cut off the spent flowers so that the plant doesn't put a lot of energy into producing seed at a later stage. But just cut off really the seed heads and leave as many leaves as you possibly can so that the bulb can get lots of energy for next year. Otherwise, they benefit very well from feeding. They like their feed and they benefit from mulching in spring just to keep those roots nice and moist and lilies should be divided every three to four years just to maintain that flowering vigour. Finally, watch out for the dreaded lily beetle which you've all seen run amok in my garden and hopefully I've gotten on top of it this year, but only time will tell. 
Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions about lilies, fire them down below and do check back to see how these bad girls turn out in the summer. That's all for now. Bye!